What's up guys, TechSVS6 in today's video I'm going to be doing a comparison between the iPhone 5S and the Nexus 5. So let's get into the video. So here are the two devices, we have the iPhone 5S right here on the side as you obviously can tell. And we have the Nexus 5 on this side with the little Apple Splat Apple sticker. So the first big comparison you'll see when you first pick these two guys up is the design and you can see the iPhone 5 is made about out of uh, aluminum and glass design or I think this is plastic it's either pl plastic or glass and the rest is aluminum and the front is glass of course and the phone button and also the camera is made out of crystal sapphire and the next 5 is made out of plastic and glass so there's two big differences right there. The iPhone 5S is made out of much higher quality stuff. That's probably one of the main differences why the Nexus 5 is so much cheaper, which is another standpoint that makes the Nexus 5 better, is that it's cheaper, but the iPhone 5S is made of way better quality. The iPhone 5S also has a really cool feature where you can unlock it by using the home button, which I can do. By, let me show you real quick. Let me just set that up again real quick. And I'll go to the home screen, put it back on, and it unlocks as simple as that. Let me show you one more time. I'm gonna this time put my thumb in a different way. Wait. That time it worked. For it it gets uh to know you better the uh the more it'll work. Now I'm turning off the password because right now it's not my iPhone, so I don't want to have a password on. Make sure there's no password on real quick. Okay. So one of the other big differences differences between the iPhone 5S and the Nexus 5 is the OS. This, when it comes down to this, it really comes down to what OS you like better. In my case, I don't really like one more than the other. One has something better than the other for me. Android, I like how it has skins. You can always change up how, the way your your, iPhone, your Nexus 5 or Android device looks by just putting skins on it. And all types of rotting, um, rooting and modding you can do to it. The iPhone 5S, you can jailbreak it, but not this, not the newest edition of the software you can jailbreak either. And there's, there's not much you can do to customize it to your own, but it does have lots of great apps and it does have a very simple and clean looking design, which makes me like it also. So when it comes to the specifications, that's where the, sam the Nexus 5 probably is better, but also not at the same time. The Nexus 5 has a Snapdragon 800 processor, quad core clocked at 2.3 gigahertz I believe and it has 2 gigabytes of RAM where the iPhone 5 has a gig of RAM and a A7 chip that which is only dual core and they both have the same 8 megapixel cameras but the iPhone 5S does look a lot better also has a dual flash when the next 5 only has one flash also the front facing camera on the Nexus 5 is definitely a lot less better than the phone version camera on the iPhone 5S. It is a 2 megapixel on the uh, Nexus 5, but as you can see, just just by looking at through the camera, you can see that the iPhone 5S is a lot better. The iPhone 5S also has a really cool feature that the Nexus 5 is also lacking, which is slow motion recording, which you can shoot in 120 frames per second if it would come up. Wait, focus. There it is. 120 frames per second. I can shoot in to do slow motion videos. I probably do. I I've, I've done a few clips of it on my channel, right? So you can go check it out on my channel. So now what we're gonna do is a little Geekbench comparison. The only thing about this is the iPhone 5s has a Geekbench 2, so I don't know how well it's gonna work. Cause the Nexus 5 has Geekbench 3. But we're going to put them out so you can see it has a 2.3 GHz Snapdragon 800 processor, 2 GB of RAM, which is only 1.8 GB uh, giga, of RAM, Android 4.4, which is the newest model out, and this has a GB of RAM, a uh, Snapdragon, I mean, not Snapdragon, a ARMS, a Apple A7 processor, which is clocked at 1.3 GHz, which is very slow, 
So we're going to run the benchmarks and see what they get. Looks like the iPhone 5S will be finished first. Just move up a little bit. There we go. It would focus. That would be nice if it would focus. So the iPhone 5S is about to be done. These are different versions of Geekbench, but I don't think we'll get that much different of... So the iPhone 5S gets a 2,222. Let's see, the Nexus 5 is at 90%, so it should be done very soon. So the score is 2,022, like I said before, 2,222. The Integra score is 2014, floating point score, blah blah blah, system, formation. Okay, the Nexus 5 does have a higher score, but not by much actually. The Nexus 5 has a score of 2,710 compared to Nexus, the iPhone 5S is 2,222, so it's not much of a difference there. You won't really notice the difference at all. In some cases, the iPhone 5S might actually be a lot faster than the Nexus 5 due to its uh, software being a lot less uh, a lot less packed up like the Nexus 5 is but since the Nexus 5 is running stock Android it also will be very silky smooth like the iPhone 5s so another big difference in between the Nexus 5 and the iPhone 5s is the app stores they have much different app stores which in my case I will probably want the, the iPhone if you are into games and, and apps, you probably want the iPhone 5S because most apps actually come to the iPhone 5S first. So that's where you would probably want it first. When it comes to the voice searches, I would probably give the Nexus 5 a the point there for that because of Google Now. Okay, Google. Uh, okay, wait. Okay, Google. I don't think it works. Wait, okay, Google. There we go. It only works when you're on Google now. Because I, I, I'm using a skin right now, so. Okay, Google. How tall is the Eiffel Tower? I said that kind of weird. Like, my voice is kind of weird. The Eiffel Tower is 1,063 feet tall. Okay, Siri. Or, hello, Siri. Okay, whatever. I'm going to do it this way. I think there's a way to do that, but... How tall is the Eiffel Tower? I think it's Hello Siri. I don't remember. Checking my sources. My web search turned this up. What? How tall is the Eiffel Tower? Eiffel Tower is 1,063 feet tall. They both picked up the same thing, but the Siri got messed up. I don't know why in the beginning. How tall is the Eiffel Tower? The Eiffel Tower is 1,063 feet tall. The iPhone 5S actually gave it to me first, but the Nexus 5 they gave me more information. So, as you can see, they are pretty much neck and neck with that when it comes to that. Uh, I I pretty much would probably rather have the Nexus uh, if you, um, voice search of Google now. Just because it gives you all these cool cards and stuff like that, you can search more information because it is all Google compared to Siri. Sometimes it just goes right to the web search. So that's it for this comparison. As you can see, it really comes down to which one you would rather have, iOS or Android. In my case, I probably actually like the iPhone 5S a little bit more than the Nexus 5 just because I really like the design of the iPhone 5S and the camera is a little bit better on the back compared to the Nexus 5s. And the front facing camera is also better to the Nexus 5s as well. But the next side does have a bigger screen, so it really comes down to two things: what screen, what screen size you like better, and what OS you like better. And in my case, I really like both OSs, so I would probably pick the iPhone 5S. That's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure to like this video, share it on Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus, subscribe. If you guys haven't already. It is free, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.